Hey there folks, another benchmark video. Why am I doing this one if we haven't done enough Z690s? Well, this is the Aris Elite AX DDR5 motherboard. So you see i7-13700K, and then we have DDR5 RAM in it. This is not the most up-to-date BIOS. It's F7. Um, eventually we'll update the BIOS one more time. Gigabytes, Z690 Aris Elite AX. Definitely the best motherboard I have ever bought. I've uh, built some other computers for other people with Aris motherboards. Um, but I, I do have to say this is the best one I have ever bought myself. Just dealing with a uh, GTX 1660 Ti in here. Nothing spectacular graphics card wise. So what do we have for CPU cooler folks? Well, um, this is the Arctic liquid freezer 280 millimeter AIO and we have Noctua paste on here instead of the in my opinion crappy arctic thermal paste uh, that they give you um, I'm not a, a fan of the one they give you it's the light blue one that just seems to uh, almost be like super glue at the end with your uh, CPU sticking to your CPU cooler so we're using Noctua Temps are lower than they were with the Arctic uh, right off the bat. So this is a good sign. Now, let's look at uh, these settings first. I did borrow this drive from the last computer we used. So some of the settings in XTU uh, power limits are already boosted. As you know, if I run this without power limits boosted somewhat, it's going to uh, power limit throttle. So now, according to this, there's been no changes to core voltage or um, core voltage offset. So, I'm assuming this is all defaults except for the power limits. And then here is what we have for the multipliers, in case you want to know. That's what the efficiency cores are at. Alright, so I'm going to run this benchmark in here first. And then we'll do Cinebench R20, R23. And I'll bring up uh, hardware info for those. So one thing I noticed, the temps, uh, when I did this previously, the temperatures are way lower. Um, we've had nothing but problems with this CPU and other motherboards and some of it's BIOS related um, some of it's been the CPU cooler but uh, you know that is a ridiculously high score in here not that you can trust you know XTU but these are all outstanding freaking numbers folks um, could it be that the motherboard is you know um, really all I needed the VRMs the power stages are better um, I have to wonder, folks. I have to wonder. Um, let's check out some things. Core voltage. So, depending on what motherboard we've seen, you know, differences here or had to boost this. Uh, it's been crazy, the stuff we've had to do with 13th gen. All right. So, that was, that was pretty darn good, folks. Um. This makes me think that we are not going to have a problem with thermal limit throttling with R23 when we get there. So we'll clear this out. And I'm going to show you this because it charts, but we will also have, we'll bring this in. And I'll overlay this on top of it, just like it is right here. So let's do R20. And there is no editing in this video, folks. We just run these live. I say live. I'm not actually streaming, but uh, maybe I should start streaming. All right. So, previously ran this. Uh, I think that was an overclocked one, right? So we're not going to get that high. But you can see an overclocked one of these is better than the 12900 easy. And then there's the 12700F. So... We have quite a history uh, on this here drive as far as what I've done in the past. So 
this one's actually me, right? And then you see the 12600K is quite a bit more powerful. 12700F, what we don't have is the 13600K, which was uh, somewhere around eight to 9,000. So ridiculous jump from here um, and more powerful than 12700F, but not quite as good as the 12900. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and run this. CPU is cooled off by now. So at the end, I'll show you what the fan speeds got up to. And we'll scroll down a little bit as soon as this thing's done. So not too bad. It looks like uh, it got up to 80, which means that it's going to be probably at least 10 degrees cooler than, than R23 on any other motherboard I've used. Um, now, I don't think that this thing is still undervolting, right? It showed it showed defaults. I haven't done anything to the BIOS. Um, so you can see the VRM stuff there. And then here's our fan, right? So we maxed out at 1757. I've kind of wondered if I got some performance fans. Um can't remember offhand the, the 140 millimeter ones if you can get those over 2000 rpm but you know tempting or to actually slap on the knock two 140 millimeter ones that i have um if they would be any better so that's uh that's pretty good right now what was the score folks that's the question um 11 275 so not sure honestly if this was overclocked, but um that's that's a pretty darn good score for twenty. Alright. So let's reset all this. It'll give the CPU a moment to cool off. Um and it's already pretty much back down to twenty something. So I wasn't thinking, you know, 280 AIO was going to make much of a difference, but um, maybe maybe that was the key to this whole whole thing. All right, so we're going to jump over to R23. I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking during this one. It takes forever. I don't I don't know why they didn't do like five minutes. Um, so I don't think we'll beat this, right? This is the overclocked um, 13700K, 5.6 gigahertz, I believe, or 5.5. 5. Uh, no, I think that was the 5.6. So modified off of Tom's hardware settings. And I boosted a little bit more because we had enough cooling, undervolted, did some other things, got that score. Um, I don't know if anybody's reported to me a higher score. I know there's probably people that get 32,000 32, to 35,000 out of this thing probably, but that's the best I have gotten. So let's go ahead and run this. Um, let me reset this. Sorry, I don't think I did that. So that's reset. That's reset. Now we can run it. And at some point I'll mute the mic hopefully. Otherwise, you guys will hear me clicking away on another computer. All right, so that's running. Get this up. Drop that over top of it. Um, so at the end, hopefully I'll remember to show you guys the VRM so you can see that. And put this mouse somewhere. So you can see the temperatures are higher, right? The last time we got up to 80 something, now we're 84. So, uh, big improvement. And this motherboard, it looks like, may allow me to overclock it without, um, uh, or do a slight overclock without having to screw with the undervolting aspect of it. Um, but who knows? Who knows what we can we can get away with till we uh, mess with it. Now. I don't know if I told you guys this. Did buy the i9 13900KF. Um, don't know when we're going to see it here at the house, but uh, I am truly excited about that. And that CPU is going to end up in this motherboard. Um, 
you may never see the 13700K again on this channel once that one shows up. Well, I can tell you that's probably true. We will probably dump the 13700K. Uh, honestly, at that point, it'll be pointless to have that one. Um, and the 13500, 13600K F, I'll probably keep that for a while. Um, at least until some of the other 13 gens show up so we can compare it. All right, so going on mute, folks.
All right, folks, so we have max temp 87 and yeah, it matches up over there. Um, so let's scroll down before we check what the score was. So there's a VRM information. And then the CPU fan speed, of course, did get way the heck up there. Averaged, you know, during that whole time period, it probably was averaging that, right? Uh, I'll show you the rest of this stuff. If there's anything else in here. Okay, so nothing else worthwhile. And the score, oh, didn't quite make 30,000. But considering there was no thermal limit throttling, power limit throttling, and we had room room to grow, I guess, with some overclocking, uh, that in itself was not too bad. Uh, it would have been nice to see 30,000, but uh, I guess I'm not going to complain out of the box uh, with a you know one of the BIOS updates. This thing is uh, definitely running better than any of the other motherboards I had. Um, without really having to do much adjustment. So thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.